Welcome fellow survivors to a sunny escape, my water-based resort. Nestled on a vibrant coral reef, this oceanic sanctuary offers everything you need for the perfect holiday retreat. A refreshing swimming pool for you and your dodo companions, a central hub area, a charming holiday restaurant for you and your guests, bespoke holiday huts for each tribe member, and a secure water pen to ensure the safety of your aquatic companions. If you're reveling in today's build, be sure to support me by hitting that like button, sharing your ideas for future builds in the comments, and become part of my growing community by subscribing. It's completely free, and you'll be helping me out a ton. So without further delay, let's plunge into today's captivating video. Hello everyone, how are you all today? I am Lols at Lance, and welcome to my first ever ocean build. On the map today, we are here... Latitude 45.8, Longitude 17. This stunning area boasts a shallow yet vibrant coral reef, providing an ideal canvas for our construction endeavours today. With a picturesque waterfall setting the scene and abundant land resources nearby, it's the perfect spot to craft a home for our water tame companions. Now to get started, I'm going to show you a command that's going to really help you out with this build, because currently if I go into the ocean, jump in, it's pretty low visibility down here. I'm not going to be able to see a lot while I'm trying to build. But, if I press tab and type in r.volumetricfog, and it should come up for you. So I'm going to just select that, and then space zero. That removes all of the fog in the world, which enables you to see perfectly clear underwater. Which I think is, this is what it was like in Ark Survival Evolved. But for some reason they changed it in Ark Ascended to make it so murky down there you couldn't see anything. Definitely utilise this to help you see underwater because otherwise it is very hard to build under here. So I think I'm actually going to start right where I said I was at the beginning here. 45.8 longitude 17, that is where I'm going to start. And I'm going to start by just going down underwater here and placing a pillar. Now, do I have a pillar on me? I do. Okay, let's start this. So, first pillar goes in, and we're going to go up to about here. That's kind of a perfect height. I like that. So, from this pillar, we want to put a ceiling tile to the right, like so. And we're going to do two this way. And then we're going to do something that, if you're familiar with my channel, I've done before. We're going to make a circle. So I've gone one, two, then I'm going to do one, two, three. So when you are unable to place another ceiling tile, all you need to do is put in your pillars going all the way down into the water like so. And it should enable it so you can place another one. Look at that. So we're going one, two, three. And then one, two, and literally guys, you're going to do the same pattern all the way around. So one, two main ceiling tiles, followed by one, two, three triangle ceiling tiles, and then so on and so forth. And then you go back to one, two normal ceiling tiles, and then you do triangles, and you're going to make a circle this way. So let's do that now. So now you should have a nice round platform that looks something like this. So the next stage is just to fill in the inside with your wood ceiling tiles. So let's do that right now. Perfect, and if you do run into the issue where it says you can't place it without foundation support, all you need to do is put another pillar going down into the ocean. So this is going to be the main building, and then I'm thinking we'll probably have another building going up, 
and then a walkway that leads to some sort of water pen. Now, obviously with the water pen, it can't be in the shallow water, which is here where we're building. It will need to be on the edge here um, so that you can put your water tames in and out easily in the deep part of the ocean. So that's kind of why I chose to build right on the edge of this coral reef here. So next, we're going to add the walls going up. To do this, I think I'm going to leave these two sections open here. So this section and this section here, I'm going to leave open on this corner. I'm going to start from here with outside walls. Actually, I've changed my mind just temporarily. I'm going to put in some door frames. These are going to disappear after I've got up a little bit, I think, because I would like to have some nice dinosaur gates here or just leave it nice and exposed so you can just walk in and out very easily. So from here, we're going to do some inside walls along the top here and go up. So in total, I've gone up one, two, three, four, five walls in total from the bottom. So because a lot of you are going to be building this in survival, I would say the next stage, rather than put the roof on, we're going to do the decking out here so you've got more room to work with. To do the decking is very simple. All you have to do is where you've got square ceiling tiles on the inside, you'll put a square ceiling tile on the outside. And when you've got a triangle ceiling tile on the inside, you'll put a triangle ceiling tile on the outside like this. Look at that. And that's all you've got to do. And it's expandable. You just keep going out if you need to, like so. Um, so I'm going to do two layers for now. And that just gives you a little bit of room to work with to be able to access the outside of this build. Okay, there we go. So I've actually gone out one, two, three from the building. That's how far I want to go for now. Whether or not I go further later, I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out. So now that we've got a bit of walking space around the build, let's sort out the roof. For the roof, it's very simple again. All you need to do is use your standard roof blocks followed by the triangle roof blocks. And you repeat that all the way around. And I'm also going to do an overhang coming down. Now for the top here, I've just added some ceiling tiles going around, upside down ceiling tiles that is. Um, but I'm thinking I want to do some sort of funky design on top of the roof here. Uh, I could probably try and do like a little archway at the top with uh, holes either side to let some smoke out. Let's give that a go. I don't know how successful this is going to be. Thank you. 
I mean, to be extra eccentric, you could add some ramps like this. If it lets you clip through, that is. If it doesn't let you clip through, then I guess you can't do this. I always, you know, it's, you never know on official if it's going to let you. What does that look like? Well, now that that's kind of done, if we come down here, I know that I want my front door here on this side. So I'm going to block this off now with some walls. Like so. And then let's open this area up right here. So let's remove those and these and these. So that will be our front door right here. Now, whether or not I put a dinosaur gate here is another question. I think for now, let's just add some nice pillars in. So. So now you should have pillars going around the entire build. I did do mine pretty uniform, just in each corner. I placed them going up and down, and then I did them going all the way around on the lower section and the upper section there. For the windows, here we go. Let's get rid of some walls here. So one, two, three, four. So we've got a big old gap there, ready for a window. And I think for the window, rather than placing some greenhouse glass in here, I'm going to try and use the railings to come up with some sort of design. Now let's see, let's go up diagonally like this. Can I do the same going down? Please let me. It does. Okay, and the other way. It did let me. Now, how can I improve this further? Let's see. Maybe we'll do railings at the bottom. And railings at the top. And I think that will be the window design. Quite a simple one. I could go a bit crazy with it, but let's keep it simple. Let's do the same thing on this side and maybe around the back as well. Okay, windows are all in. All I've done is, where I did my last window, I've skipped a whole section, done another window, skipped a section, done a window, skipped a section, done a window. So there's windows all the way around this build. So we have our main structure here. Now I'm thinking of having another structure, not as big as this one, but pretty big. And it could possibly come off of this building. Maybe like a little walkway coming to another building on stilts going all the way up okay so here's what i'm thinking i want to do from here i'm thinking from the main door here we're going to go one section two section the third section here i think i'm going to try and bring out some ceiling tiles one two three one two three yeah and then i'm thinking a building connected to this could be quite fun so let's see, we're going to have to add some pillars in now. And then from here, I think we're going to go one, two, three, four. And this is going to be the start of the building, I think. So these two tiles here will be the start, which means I probably need more pillars, sadly. Let's put these in. Perfect. And then from here, we're going to go out one triangle, then two ceiling tiles, then we're going to need some more support. So let's get this pillar back in. Then one triangle, two ceiling tiles, and we're going to do that all the way around. So two ceiling tiles, one triangle, two ceiling tiles, one triangle, until you've done a loop back to where you started.
and then you should have a little platform that looks like this. So we're just going to fill in the inside with triangles. Uh, amazing. And now we're going to go up with the walls. Similar to what we've done over here, we're going to do outside walls at the bottom and inside walls going up. Okay, so for the walls, I've just gone up one, two, three, four high. So you want to go four high all the way around. And then we're going to basically do the same roof from this one on this one. So for the top of this roof, I'm thinking of doing something very similar to what I've done here. The only thing is the dimensions are completely different here. So I really need to work out how I'm going to do it. And I'm thinking I want it similar to how I've done this, the front uh, of the build here with the door. You have the opening here. I want to do here. So this is the door and we'll have the opening here. Now the only way I think I can do this is, is if I use the triangle roofing. So let's give this a go now. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Let's see, if we put one in there, maybe one in there. Maybe one there, and here, and here, and here. <laughs> kind of like an eagle, look at that. Let's see what this is going to look like. I think it's going to look awful. But you never know until you try. Am I right? Okay. Uh, verdict is I don't like it. <laughs> verdict is I don't like it. But I don't hate it. So for now, I'll keep it. And yeah, I'll come back to it. Whatever I do to that in the future, I will let you know how I've done it. Um, if I even touch it again. So looking back here, I'm wondering if it actually would be nicer to have a little stairway going up rather than having a flat straight bridge going across here. If we get rid of these bits and then actually keep this bit here. Ooh, we could use a ramp here going up on both bits that would mean that we need to delete the bit i just said put back in <laughs> whoops let's delete that quickly that never happened i never said that i am making this up on the spot if you didn't realize already <laughs> some of this so yeah uh this was gonna happen i'm kind of designing with you right now i don't hate that so i think with the pillars here now that we've got the pillar support here i'm probably gonna move the pillars to here now and these are going to have to go down through the water. So we're going to have to go underwater here. And then place your pillar all the way down to the floor. And then on this side as well. All the way down. And then we should be able to pick this up. Like so. I don't know what I'm creating right now, but I'm creating. I'm cooking. Let me cook. So with the windows for this build, we're going to do similar to this. But the only difference I'm thinking is, and I don't know how this is going to work, so we're going to do this together now, is we're going to get the quarter walls here, put the quarter walls in across. Then we're going to delete these two bits up here and put quarter walls across this as well. There we go. Okay, that's interesting. And I might put a pillar going up 
to the top. And yeah, we'll probably have pillars on this side as well. I'm just seeing what this is going to look like. And we'll have pillars going around the base. And maybe just like that. And then... Maybe we can do some railings here. So let's think about this. So one... Two... Now, do we keep the railings plain and simple, just going up like this? Or do we do something a bit more exciting with them? I think we'll just keep them plain Jane for now. And then let's add some quarter walls going along the middle. And I like that. I think that looks good. And we'll do that all the way around. So not we'll do one here, one here, one here. Wherever there's a double wall, I'll, I'll do it. So yeah, let's do that all the way around, shall we? Okay, as you can see, all the pillars and windows are uniformly in all the way around. And a little additional extra I did is just at the front door here. So where the doors are, I did add a window up here. Just by removing the wall, putting some quarter walls, one, two, three, four, and then the railings again. So yeah, looking pretty nice there. And honestly, the roof is starting to grow on me. This bit is starting to grow on me. It still looks bizarre. <laughs> But uh, I don't hate it as much as I did when I first put it in, so that's a good sign. You know, I'm looking at this now, thinking this roof looks funny rather than that roof. What is wrong with me? This is something I am going to revisit at the end, I think. Uh, so do be aware that that might change. So maybe leave your top bits of your roofs for now if you want to copy my design now we really need to start thinking about the water pen and where that's going to go. I'm thinking it's going to go under here. I do have some animals down here waiting patiently for me to build this water pen for them. So if I go up here, let's think about this. I think I want like a nice walkway coming out here and maybe that turns into a nice big semicircle which goes out into the open ocean a bit here so I can put a nice big fence around here here in the ocean which is gonna require a ton of stone or wood i'll probably use stone because that's obviously more safe for the animals uh that makes a lot more sense so yeah like a nice semicircle here of wall or fence or something let's figure this out now so i think starting from this line here next to the doorway this is where we're going to bring our walkway out So I've just added in some pillar support either side there and we're going to go out here by let's say two, three, let's say three, we're going to put in a fourth and this is where I think I'm going to start to go around in a giant semicircle. Now I hope this is going to look good. In my head, I'm, I, it's going to be like a giant crescent moon. Uh, so let's try this. One, two, three, four. Let's do five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, so I've done one, two, three, four, five. So I'm thinking we're going to just make sure that there's always five blocks on the outside. So this is going to be the inside. That's going to be the outside. So let's see here. Do one, two. So we need to get the pillar in here. Bam, bam, bam. And then let's continue. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Another pillar. Then one, two, three, four, five. 
So this is where it's going to probably start to be a bit more resource heavy because we're going to have to start taking the pillars into the deeper ocean here to get all the way to the floor so we have foundation support. So just be aware of that. So what we've done here, making sure there's five on the outside at all times, we're just going to keep going all the way around until we have a nice semicircle. So let's do that now. And there is the semicircle. Look at that. A big C. That's what we've made. And in terms of the dino space in the water, so what I was thinking is from this block all the way across to the other block on the opposite side would be a big wall going across, which would give about this much room inside for a pen. I could bring it out one more actually okay so yeah I've added one more on this side and one more on that side just to be safe just to bring it out by one more and we'll bring pillars all the way down from here so now that the semicircle is going all the way around we should be able to from this pillar to this pillar put in a wall that's going to be our little water pen really and we'll put a behemoth gate down here somewhere and some little gates somewhere around here as well i think this could all work quite nicely i think we'll come back to that because that's going to be quite a big job putting all those walls in i think right now we're going to add in some cute little huts coming off this semicircle i don't know if you've ever seen those holiday resorts in the maldives or some caribbean islands where they've got these little huts on stilts in the water but i'm thinking on the semicircle here we could add some little huts going out for the you know tribe mates or guest bedrooms etc i think that could be quite a fun idea so let's start on this one here so we've done five so that means we've got a middle piece so on the third piece in if we go out by three and then put our pillars going down for support and then on the fourth one we can add in our little hut so we'll just do a simple triangle square triangle all the way around to make a circle okay and let's build up the walls Perfect, so I've gone one, two, three walls high, and then we're gonna add the roof in. Now let's try out a funky roof design here. I'm thinking of using the ramps now do they clip into each other they can clip into each other i don't know if they can clip into each other on official so you're you guys are gonna have to let me know if this is possible on official if it's not i'd recommend just doing a flat roof on top so next i'm just going to add some pillars all the way around the build And lastly, we need some windows. Now, I'm thinking of doing what I did here with the quarter walls, perhaps. Let's see if I can get that to work.
lovely. And I'm thinking here I might do a bigger window. So let's try a bigger window on this side. Same method again with the quarter cool walls. One on there, one on there. And then again on this side. So delete that, delete that. Quarter wall, quarter wall, and railings. And the same at the back. Lovely, and from that we've got this lovely little hut. Now, I actually prefer these windows to the windows I did at the front here. So actually, let me delete this and put in a quarter wall right up here uh, with the railing. Yeah, that's going to be a bit nicer, isn't it? So let's do that on this side. There we go, and there we have it. There's our first little hut. I love that actually. So now guys, what I need you to do is do the same heart on this platform, this platform, this platform, and this platform. So exactly the same again, go for the middle. So one, two, three. So it'd be this one here. So you'd go out here. You'd go out one, two, three on here. You'd go out three on here. And lastly on here. That isn't the right one. Okay, not this one. We're going to leave that one. This one has six tiles in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll leave that one. We'll just do one, two, three, four. That'll be plenty. So yeah, follow what you did here and do it here. And I'll see you once I've done mine. Just like that, they're all in. Look at that. Looking fabulous. And to be honest, guys, this design is turning out pretty modules, meaning that you could literally take out any part of this design you don't like to save on resources if you don't have enough. So maybe you just want to build this section, or you want to do that building, or you just don't include the huts. And all the semicircle is really up to you what you include or what you don't. This is really going to just give you some good ideas, if anything. Or you just follow along with me. So now that those huts are in, let's turn our attention back to this roof. And I do apologize that I'm changing my mind on this. I know sometimes it's very frustrating when someone changes their mind in the middle of a tutorial. But I don't have a lot planned today. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to delete this top section and start this again. So what I'm thinking is we're going to go up by one with the roof. Okay, so the door's here, so I'm going to go around to the side, and I'm going to use the triangle roof, but the reverse side. And we're going to go bop, bop, bop. Maybe bop again, and then one out. Pop again, one out. Do that on the opposite side. Who knows if this is going to look nice? Only one way to tell. Okay, so those are in. Now, I wonder if I use the ramp here to go across. Now, do I want to use this side of the ramp? Or do I want to use the other side of the ramp? I think I want to use the normal side of the ramp. And this side, what does this look like? Let's see. Uh, okay. I think that definitely feels like it's part of the same sort of design now as these. I would say that is a winner. I think that looks pretty good actually. So yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay. So the build should look something like this right now. Now I think it's a good time to go and get the main part of the water pen in. And oh my god, look at the amount of pillars under here. <laughs> it is quite pillar intensive in the deep section of the water. 
And you guys might want to use stone pillars rather than wood pillars in this section just to make sure that, you know, any sharks that come up and try and bite it, it lasts a bit longer. I'm going to use wood though. So now I'm going to add in a underwater stone wall. So I think the way I'm going to add this in is by, let's see here. We're just going to add it around the whole semicircle here. Now, rather than starting at the top here, sort of here, I don't want to see that wall. So I'm going to go with a quarter wall and I'm going to start it here. If I start it here, it's just below the water level and then dinosaurs won't be able to get in and out of there. Plus, it will look more aesthetically pleasing this way. So let's do quarter walls all the way across. Now, when I get to this pillar here, I can't place it on the pillar because the pillar is at a weird angle. But what I think I can do, if I'm not mistaken, is place it up here first. Place one underneath that. Delete this one. And hopefully, because the pillar's there, this wall stays in place. And it has. Look at that. It stayed in place. So then we're able to go across to the next pillar. And rinse and repeat all the way around. So now you can see the perimeter of the enclosure. This is going to be the entire enclosure. And then it's going to be blocked off here by a giant wall and behemoth gate. So that's my plan. I've never made a water pen before and I hope I'm doing a good job. I'm sure that I've seen most people do water pens uh, as just behemoth gates everywhere. Just behemoth gates in the water, which you could do. You've got enough room in this area here to just put behemoth gates from side to side if you wanted. That is the alternative if you want something a bit easier. But I want to try and create my own design, so this is what I'm going with. So next, I just need to fill in the walls here. And I'm thinking in some places, I'll probably try and add some dinosaur gates. But before I do that, let's just get all that semicircle area covered in walls. And to be a little bit quicker, you can find in the crafting options a four high wall that you can craft and place. It'll be a lot faster and easier that way. Here it is, stone large wall. That is what I want. It will make this go a little bit faster for me. Okay, the giant monstrosity of a wall is in. <laughs> God, I mean, it's not its not the prettiest thing I've ever built, but it's functional, and that's what matters. So I'm thinking I'm going to put in some dinosaur gates around somewhere. So to get a dinosaur gate in, the first thing that we're going to need to do is place down some side pillars, like so. We're going to delete a section of wall above that and then we can place in a gate it doesn't snap so you'll have to just guess and get it right so i'm thinking around here perfect and then we add a door in lovely and then we just fill in the gap again lovely 
lovely. And then we've got a gate so that we can go in and out with ease. Let's see if it opens. It does. And we can get out. Look at that. Just with the smaller animals. And Megalodon doesn't fit out of small gates, unfortunately. So that's why we're going to need to put in a behemoth gate in a second. Let me close that door. So with the gates, it's really about putting them where you think it's going to be most convenient for you. For me, I think I'm going to put them out evenly across the wall. So maybe one here where I've put one. Maybe another one here. Possibly one over here. I don't know if there's... What's over here? Yeah, probably one there as well. So yeah, we'll go across doing that and then some down at the bottom as well. So once I've done that, I'll come back to you. Okay, so the dinosaur gates are in. It kind of looks like windows on a castle, honestly. So I kind of like that. I think that works quite well and makes it look a little less ugly. So now we need to completely close this off. So obviously with the behemoth gate, I'm going to need to put it on some sort of pillar. So we're going to have to bring a pillar going all the way across to this pillar here. So I'm thinking the behemoth gate goes around here somewhere where there's a lot of room rather than over here. So it crashes into this. That doesn't make sense. So we'll put it here. So I'm going to need to put a pillar in here going across like so. Perfect, so we've got our pillars in. Honestly, the behemoth gate could have been a bit higher than I'm putting it. I'm kind of putting it on the ground. I don't know if that's such a good idea. But hey, we've started now. Let's see what it looks like. I can always move it. Uh, let's place it in. Would it fit? You have to get it on top of the pillar. There we go. So it needs to go on top of the pillar. I can't really see what I'm doing. Can I get it? there. Ooh, little gap. Start again, try again. See, I could have done it a little bit higher, but in all honesty, let's test this out on the Megalodon. Let's see. And let me get rid of that death message. Let me see how this is going to work. Let me out. Lovely. Swim on out very easy and then I'll come in to the base and swim up like so hello everyone then I'll swim back down can I swim back down or am I stuck I'm fine swim back down to the gate it would help if the gate was a bit higher up if I'm honest if I'm being honest with myself the gate being higher up would help so let's make it higher up. Why would we why would we settle for for anything less? Let's pick that up and get rid of that. Okay, so that's what one, two, three, four pillars higher than we had it. Is this gonna be too high now? probably is if I'm honest let's just place it anywhere just to see uh, is that no that's actually kind of perfect is that perfect is this perfect mr. Megalodon take me through the dinosaur gate that's actually a really nice yeah that's perfect yeah okay we'll stick with that i'm gonna go get that perfect now and then we'll fill in the rest of the wall here
Okay, I finished the wall with the gateways in here with the behemoth gate as well. And you would have just seen me do the most pointless thing in the world. I added stairs underwater. Um, why? I don't have an explanation why. It just happened and we're keeping it. That's all I know. I don't know if that makes it look any better, honestly. I'm trying my best <laughs> to make it look somewhat aesthetically pleasing. And you know what? It's, it's good enough. It is good enough. Let me get these pillars going down. These are literally just extras uh, that aren't needed. These are just for looks. Um, and a lot of people won't be able to see this because a lot of people won't have their fog turned off like I do right now. So yeah, completely up to you how many decorations you really add to the underwater section. No one's going to be able to see it other than you <laughs> on your way in and out. And especially if you've got your fog turned off. So yeah. I really don't like how the behemoth gate only has a pillar this side a pillar big pillar that side but doesn't have a big pillar going across so i'm thinking if we bring out a pillar a stone pillar coming out this way and go all the way across like this this is a bit extra right now i'm going a bit i'm, I'm losing the plot i'm losing the plot right now and then we add in some walls here like that it kind of lines it a little bit better i much prefer this actually but then we'll just get some ceilings across the top yeah look at that it's so much better already and if we get the stone pillars going across here as well i think it will look even better perfection add one there whoops that's outside of the water yeah look at that okay i like that now the big question is, is how does it look like for people who have their fog turned on? Let's go ahead and turn on the fog. And wow, look at that. Can't see a thing. So if we go up to, oh my god, how do people, there's no way the devs think that this is playable underwater. Like how do you, I don't even know where I am right now. Oh my goodness me. Is there something that gets rid of the fog in game? Like, is there a dinosaur that can see better? I can't see anything. And then you turn fog off. Bam. And suddenly you can see everything. Yeah, the devs need to change that, definitely. That, like, it is horrible underwater. Like, I don't mind it a little bit foggy, but that is just insane. And you can't even see all the work they put into, like, the coral reefs and stuff under here. So what is the point of having all of this foliage, etc., if you can't even see it at all? Yeah, not a fan of that. But anyway, that's enough of me ranting. So we also need a way to get out of the water when we obviously bring the dinos up. Say we have a dolphin, we've got a load of resources, we need to come up. And we need to swim out. There's no way. Oh, I just fell. I fell so hard. Wow. There's no way for us to actually get out. So we need to put some ramps in.
over here first, I'm thinking in line with what we've done over there, we put another little bit coming out here that's going to be for boats. So I don't know how far it's going to let me go out. Probably about that far will be absolutely fine. And then if I get rid of the railings, we can have this area for boat docking. If I put a little ramp in as well, will it let me put the ramp in? It will. Oh, it won't. Oh, no. There we go. We got our ramps in. So we got a little boat dock here, which is quite sweet. And I might put in some pillars here as well. Why not? And I'll do the same on the other side so it's symmetrical. So over here. All I think we need to do now is add in a few railings for details. Now for the details, I'm thinking of just doing the under part of the roof here. Okay, all of the houses now have that same roofing design, so we're going to do very similar to over here. Okay, this roof is looking a lot nicer now. The only additional thing I've done up here is add some pillars going around the rim, as you can see there, that is all. So let's do the same to this build here, just doing the downward railings across the entire build. Perfect, and while we're here, we better as well add some railings to this little walkway while we're here. Amazing, so this has really come together now. I'm just thinking of additional things I can do to the exterior before I move on to the interior, which I'll do most of the interior off camera, guys, just to save a bit of time as I'm running a bit out of time at the moment. Think about this. I'm thinking the platform could be a bit bigger on the outside so we could make this at least one more wide going out. Okay, so that dock is in as well. Of course, you can add docks wherever you want on this build. It's really up to you. So I think that's it. You know what would be really crazy? Now, this is really crazy. Should I do this? I could try and add a swimming pool in over here. Is that crazy? Should I do that? I could add a swimming pool in. Never even done a swimming pool. How would you do that? I guess you kind of like lower the walls down. All right, let's give it a go. I mean, if it looks bad, I can just remove it, right? There's no harm in trying.
Well, I think we successfully made a swimming pool. Whether or not it goes with the entire build or not, I'm not a hundred percent like sold on it. Just because everything else is in round, like round circles, and I've done this as a square, which kind of makes it look out of place. I wonder if I can better integrate this. I mean, it's something. <laughs> we're still cooking. We're, we're still cooking right now. I'm thinking I want to make the pool bigger. I think I can make this a bit bigger to make it a bit better. We'll go out by one on each side, maybe. Okay, so I've just got rid of the quarter walls down the side here and here. And so we are, obviously I had before, I had the wood quarter wall and then the stone quarter wall. But now I'm just going to have a stone quarter wall rather than a wood to extend it by just a block. So if I now add in the stone, I keep calling them quarter walls, I mean quarter ceilings, I'm such an idiot. I saw the uh, a video that I posted recently, I kept on calling the ceilings walls, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Why do I call them walls? They're obviously not walls, they are ceilings. Look at that, okay, that is a, oh my god, so loud, do you mind, Mr. Bird? For your crimes against my video, you shall die. And that's what happens. You know what, guys, I'll keep the pool. I'll, I don't even care, I'm keeping the pool. It's a great feature, look at this. You can get in, you can have a little swim. You can't get out for your life, though. You die in here. You die in this pool. If you're in this pool, you die. Unless, can I get out this way? No. <laughs> we definitely need a ladder in here. Which I'll put back in now. Let's see. Wanna let me? And can I climb it? I can't even climb it. Can I put it in here? Can I climb this? No. Yeah, if you come in this pool, you die. This is death. Or stairs, even. Oh, look. Maybe the... I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Why didn't I think of that? You can have stairs. Oh, let's do it on this side as well. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, now look at it. It's a bougie pool. What a bougie pool this is. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah. Paddle all day in that. I love that. I love that there's a pool there. That's so cool. I don't love this corner, and I know I could have actually done a really good job of this. All I needed to do is do everything in triangles here, and it would have been fine. Um, so if you're doing this and you want it a bit more rounder, just do the whole thing in triangles. So this would all be triangles on this side as well, where the squares are. Um, and you'd still be able to fit a square pool in. But for me, I am going to use clipping methods now to clip my way into this and try and make this all a bit prettier.
Okay, well, there we go. That's kind of the whole of the exterior done. Obviously, I can add some decor later. Um, I will do a little bit of the inside for you now, and then I'll go away and finish it all up off screen, and we'll go through it all together at the end, so you won't miss anything. Do not worry. You just won't see me do everything, and it will just be like little things like decor, bedrooms, etc. So, right, we've got this walkway coming down from this building up here. So, let's remove the wall. And we need a way to get up to here. So, I'm thinking we'll have a little walkway here. If I get a stair. If I get a triangle here. Some stairs coming down. Would that work? I mean, that's one way to do it. And then have some pillar support to make it look a bit more realistic. There and there. So up the stairs, let's put some railings. Let's make sure health and safety standards are up to par in this resort. So I'm going to put the refining forge down here. And this room is literally going to be the main hub. So we're going to have everything you could possibly need in this room. The fabricator, vaults, etc. So let's go into super fast build mode and do that now. Right, that's all done. If we go up to the next build. So probably going to make a bar and restaurant in here. You know I love to do it in every single build I've ever done on my channel. I'm pretty sure there's like a restaurant or bar in every single one of them. Almost, especially in the big ones. Maybe not the smaller ones. But let's put in some sort of bar and some seating for some food. Would be nice. So yeah, let's do that up here. I think that's quite all right so yeah so everything else now I think I'm gonna do off camera I'm gonna put some bedrooms in the huts uh, I'll probably just do some exterior details in places maybe some plants etc so I'm gonna go away and do all of that now do not worry though because I will take you through every single thing that I do at the end. I always do a nice big walk through at the end so do wait around for that. So until then, enjoy the cinematic shots.
Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to the resort. <laughs> Which is basically what this has turned out to become. I've made a resort. Unintentionally, I didn't mean it to become a resort, but now it's a resort. So there you go. So I'm going to now give you the grand tour. I'll show you the little details that I've added in in places. And yeah, let's just have a good time. So coming in from the port, if we go to our right, we probably have what ended up being the best part about the entire base, which is the swimming pool. <laughs> the swimming pool, which was just a last minute decision, as you saw. Oh my god, the birds are pooing in the pool. No pooing in the pool allowed. Let me pick that up. You can lay eggs in the pool. That is absolutely fine. As you can see, we've got our lovely swimming pool here. It's a shame the water's not a bit higher. That could have been fixed by me just lowering the whole entire build by a little bit. But, you know, I there's a lot of work. <laughs> we got our lifeguard Steve here doing his job, taking care of the dodos at the resort. Over here, I just made some umbrellas by putting a pillar down some triangle ceiling tiles going all the way around to make a little hexagon and then the triangle roof it's very simple that's how i made that and then we've got these sun lounges that i designed so with these sun lounges i made them by just putting two benches together one two benches in there on free placing mode and i just put some canvas either side and on the back very easy and simple to do as well. I think they actually turned out pretty good, these lounges. And you can sit on them. Watch this. Let me just... I'm sitting on the lounger. Look at that. So I can sit down, enjoy the view with my dodo companions. What a lovely, lovely resort this has turned out to be. Over here, we have one of the staff cooking for our guests. There are no guests here at the moment. But you're hard at work, and I appreciate it, Mr. Penguin. So along the decking here, we've just got some Savaru and Citronelle plants, along with a Species X plant. Is it Species X or Species Z? I can never remember the difference. But this is easily the prettiest plant in Ark, along with these two, so that's why I use them so much in my builds. Over here, we've just got a little storage zone that I've made with some pillars and some quarter ceiling tiles coming out. Very simple. I just put some boxes underneath. Just for aesthetics, probably wouldn't use that. we got our professional drummer here doing a fantastic job keeping our guests entertained at the pool. Live music is very important, of course, in any resort. Coming around to the main base. So I did end up putting the dinosaur gate in, as you know. I think that does look a lot better with this in. And inside here, we've got something very familiar. As it's just a main hub area that I've done this design quite a few times now, I think, in my builds. Because it's so functional. It's honestly the most functional thing. You've got everything you need all the way around, including the industrial forge here. We've even got a chimney so that the smoke from the industrial forge filters out of this build. Very practical. <laughs> so if we come on up these stairs here, we end up coming to the ramp that leads us to the main resort restaurant. Now, this restaurant, oh, I love this restaurant. Look at this. We've got little booths along the side for people to come and eat their grub at their table. We've also got some decor by adding some boss mounts to the mounts up there. These are just the trophies that you get for killing the bosses. Of course, they're quite hard to obtain, so you can always put an Alpha T-Rex head in these as a trophy as well. And we've got our chefs and wait staff behind the bar there cooking and feeding our guests. Obviously, I made this room into a restaurant, but there's so much opportunity in this room. You could turn it into anything you want. It's big enough and it's high enough. You could have multiple stories. As you can see, we've got windows up there. It's kind of begging for me to make a second story in here, but I didn't. Coming on out of the main hub, we can go over to this little bridge over here that takes us to the main promenade 
I don't know actually know what this is would be called. I think a promenade is a walkway by the ocean, but a walkway on the ocean? I don't know what this would be called. You guys let me know in the comments below what this would be called. So we go along our walkway here and we come to our lovely holiday homes here, each for a guest or tribe member with their own bed and living quarters looking fabulous. I'll go inside them in a second. Let me just take you around to the main pier here at the end of the promenade walkway decking thing i don't know what to call it the crescent moon okay we're gonna call it the crescent moon walkway this is the crescent moon walkway so coming off the crescent moon walkway we get to the pier which is where you can get on your raft and go on your merry adventures and very easy to get back from your raft onto the ramp very simple design you know what it could do with some storage boxes or something here and some barrels, perhaps? That could work quite nicely to make it look like you're, like, stocking up on, you know, supplies on your little runs. Oh, no. Oh, do you know how long it took me to move all these damn dinos into positions <laughs> to make it look nice? Oh, no. Oh... Well, give me a second. Oh, where are... Oh, what are they doing? Look... Oh, no, please. Why? I've got to... I've got to sort this out. Great. Oh, there we go. That was so painful. I can't believe I did that. Right. Now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's quickly just add some storage here. Make it look like we're offloading and unloading from the dock onto the raft, etc. I think that's pretty cool. So now if we come on round to my nicely organised dino pen, look at them all swimming around in their pen, having a good time. I will show you that in a second. We go into our bedrooms. Now, to be honest, I didn't do a lot to these bedrooms. I literally just put in the beds, a little bench, some bedside units. In this one, it's got a smithing table and some beer barrels. Uh... So, one thing I completely forgot about, with the cryopods, you can put them in these display cases, and they're almost like little taxidermies. You, it shows the animal, and you can pet them. Look at that. Cute. Oh, who's a good stag? You're a good stag, pet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can pet them, so it's kind of it's kind of fun. So, coming on out, I'll show you a couple more, but they're all very similar as you're about to see so this one i believe has yeah this one has a plant in it i put some canvases down as mats which works quite well you can place them on the floor uh, we've got a little bookshelf a little cooking pot again i use some display cases with the cryopods in it so we can see our dinosaurs and give them a little pet pet Ooh, good little dinosaur cute bit weird but that's arc. <laughs> so if I come on out, I'll show you one more of these houses. Let's go into this one now. So in this one, I believe I did very similar to the last one, but I included a little ramp up to your bedded area. And I've got these under bed storage. So all I did here was put a ceiling up from the ground, put in some triangle ceilings as well, either side. So it's flush to the wall. And then underneath, put a storage box under this side and that side, and some railings. And that made this cute little underbed storage area that you can access and get into very easily. I quite like that. I think that's cool. To show you this next part, I've had to get changed into my scuba gear because we're going underwater. As I'm about to show you the water pen. Let's go! So under here we have all of our water tames in their enclosure. As you can see, it is quite a big area. You can fit quite a lot of water tames down here. We've got our megalodons. How many have got? One, two, I think I've got three. I don't know where the third one is. Look at that, so big I don't even know where he is. There he is, all the way down here. It's taller than it is wide. And, you know, I think this is kind of the perfect water tame pen for like a mid-tier base, which is basically what we've made. 
Um, we've got our manta rays and our dolphins. I've forgotten the name of these guys, but these guys can go in and out of the normal dinosaur gates. So that's why we've got all of these normal dinosaur gates going around the base. So you can pick and choose where you bring them in and out. And with the Megalodons, they can only go in and out of the Behemoth Gates. If we try to get them out of these, there, there's no way. They can't fit. They're too big. So let's take him out of here, and I'll show you what the pen looks like from the outside. So this is what the pen looks like from the outside. It is a mammoth pen, honestly. It's very big. But when you go inside, it actually feels smaller than it is, mainly because of the giant rock in the way here. But, it, you know, it's a nice size pen, and you can go all the way to the top, and we can simply go off onto the ramp. Look at that. So it works really well. Oh, who's... Oh, he's smiling. Are you okay, buddy? Are you a good boy? Yeah, you are. We call this guy Bruce, of course. He's so happy. I can't look at him. So happy. Oh, I want to give him a hug. Go on, go back underwater, buddy. Let's put you back in. There we go. So, well, that's kind of the base. I know it's not a lot. It's not the biggest build, and but it's a nice build, right? you got everything you need here. you got your main hub. You've got your eating area. And you've also got all your sleeping areas down there for each tribe mate. So it works out really well. And the best part is, oh my god, I didn't realise you can't run. <laughs> when you're in scuba gear, you can't run. Oh, look at that waterfall over there. I forgot about that. That is a very nice feature to have in the background of this resort. People pay premium for that here. The piece de resistance is obviously the swimming pool here. We love the swimming pool. And the dodos do too, look at this. Oh yes, we can just do our little lengths in here occasionally, get some exercise in. I love this. This might be my favourite base I've made so far. It's just a lovely place to live. I'm going to try and make this in my survival world because I think this is an awesome place to live. And maybe I'd make it like a bridge going from here to the beach somehow with other little huts along the way. I'm not sure how I would get over here. Probably just with a raft. What am I saying? We got rafts. We don't need bridges, we just need rafts. And well guys, that is today's build over. So if you did enjoy today's build, do smash the like button, comment down below what you thought about this build and what you want me to build next. And don't forget to subscribe, especially if you enjoyed this video. It's completely free and it helps me out an absolute ton. And love you guys to death. I'll see you in the next video.